In this video, I'll use the XDAI bridge to complete a simple transaction between Ethereum and XDAI, and then bridge back from XDAI to Ethereum. To start, I go to bridge.xdiechain.com and connect a Web3 wallet. I'll start by bridging DAI to XDAI, but you can start on either chain. I connect and see my balance on both chains. I'll enter in 1705 to round out my DAI balance, and then confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Often moving small amounts doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'll do so here for demo purposes. I confirm and see the pop-up, which lets me know the pending status of the transaction. I can click on the link to view an Etherscan. For now we see pending status. I'll come back here in a bit to check on the transaction. Now I can see success, but I'll still need to wait for eight blocks before the transaction is official. This is done to make sure finality has occurred on chain and there aren't any issues with a reverted transaction or chain reorg. This typically takes about two minutes. I'm going to speed things up to get there. The transaction on the Ethereum side is now complete and we'll wait for execution on XDAI. This usually only takes a few seconds. I can check on Block Scout. The transaction has not been indexed quite yet. I'll refresh Block Scout and we should see it. I see success and can scroll down to see more details about the transaction, including the amount of bridge die, as well as the internal transactions required to bridge die to xdai. Now back on the bridge page, I see the 1705 has been removed from my mainnet balance and added to my xdai balance. Let's bridge in the other direction. I can switch chains here in the UI or in MetaMask. If I switch in the UI but not in MetaMask, I'll get a wrong network warning and we'll need to change in MetaMask. I add in the amount I want to transfer and click Request. A pop-up will appear that lets me know I'll need to confirm two transactions, one on XDAI and one on Ethereum. And I'll need both XDAI and ETH to process these transactions. I only need a small amount of XDAI to start, but we'll need ETH to claim the transaction on Ethereum. I click Confirm, and then confirm the first transaction on XDAI with MetaMask. The transaction is processing and will require block confirmations again, although it'll be faster this time on XDAI. The first transaction is processed. Now we need to switch back to the Ethereum mainnet to claim our tokens. I switch back in MetaMask and see the Claim button. Click to claim and confirm in MetaMask. The transaction is claimed and my wallet balance reflects the new amounts. I can learn more about this transaction in Etherscan. The History button is also very useful for seeing all of my previous transactions. I can click here to view sending and receiving transaction hashes, along with dates and status. I can also quickly find any transactions I haven't received with this filter, and then deal with them appropriately. In another video, I'll look at advanced features and settings of the XDAI bridge.